Hello and welcome back to Thurry Place More Time, City of the Damned. This should be the second video of the day, uh, hopefully. Uh, well, yeah, it definitely will be, so yay for that. <laughs> and last mission went pretty well. Uh, the injuries look worse than they actually are. There was the the uh, debuff from the from a failed spell that got a lot of open wounds on everyone. Uh, the only one that actually got hurt is, I think, Tama, um, with a twitch, but oh well, it happens. So I said that I wanted to go for skills, in the end I only went with one so far, and that is on Martin, our other Templar Knight. And he's learning armor proficiency right now as well, so that I can uh, get both of them in heavy armor. Um, and I think the next skill I'm going to put is on Alderis Volkmar here. But he's still injured, so we will have to advance at least one more day. So let's do that real quick. And we have got a lot of money back. Oh yes, really a lot. So yeah. Let me... Let's see. So we have that one slot and we have that one extra. And I was talking about in the last episode that I could buy a henchman here, but this is the henchman that I bought and he's in this slot right now. But the thing is we only have two henchmen here, but if I get, I need more heroes for the rotation, I think. Because I don't want to over level anyone right now. So this is a bit of a weird decision, but let's get him. I think since we do have the money, let's go with armor proficient here as well. Uh, they are built to, or they could be built towards heavy armor, and I think at least two of them should be. But they also have got, actually have got some decent um, ranged capabilities, in theory. But Vengeance makes it a close combat skill again, so I'm not sure yet if we maybe are going to put one on ranged. Um... But let's get, yeah, why not? Let's get one more henchman. Uh, come on. A zealot this time, though. No, a flagellant. That's what I wanted to say. And that will allow us to switch these two out. And, yeah. So we have two rank zeros with us again. But that should be perfectly fine, I think. And let's see what mission we can do today. Or do I want to... Well, I can decide on a skill to give him afterwards. But he's probably going to learn something as well. Depending on what injuries we take now. So, Or if we take injuries. So let's take a look at our missions. A deadly one. Nope. Oh, the setup is awesome, but nope. Hard one with good wordstone and a brutal one with exceptional plus the story mission. And we're probably going to get to the story mission pretty soon, but I want to make sure that we can take that uh, on so not too early. And I think we're going with this one Horrors of More Time, uh, as it is a hard mission which I can deal with. This one is good, but the setup with combined with a brutal mission and us having two rank zeros makes me too worried, to be honest. I'm no game knight who can do deadlies on a daily basis. <laughs> so let's do this one. Hope for the better setup again. And yeah, it's wordstone rush. And good wordstone, so that's fine. And yeah, so that's what we're going to go with. So see you in a moment. Okay, here we are. We got the strike teams again, and I'm once again happy about it. The same setup as last time. So where's our wordstone? It is once again in one spot all the way over there. And our opponent is scattered again, probably around here somewhere, which means I think I'm going to repeat my setup from last time. So... We are going to put... Oh, we need to jump down there. No, that's the wrong spot. This is the right group. I think. Yes, okay. 
this should allow us to reach the wordstone right away with the ones that can dish out the most damage and can take the most damage. And the question is, if they are down here, we could phase, but we will have to go down there as well. So I guess this is pretty okay to go here. Put the flagellants in the back. That is the right setup. And he is over there and you here. Oh, and I actually miscounted. And one lonely soldier will go over here. Oh well. We couldn't have prevented that. That would have happened anyways. I just could have made sure that there's more than one. But if we have to sacrifice one, I'm fine with it being just the one guy. And he will he will grant us some vision because he's on the high ground. So what are we actually playing against? Uh, I did see that card there, so we can cheat a little bit. And it's another... What's the word? Witch Hunter Warband. So we're having a little bit of a mirror match today here. Uh, I did place a beacon there, yes, indeed, so let me see what I can see. Well, first off, we can see that we can jump down here, and that there is, in fact, an enemy there. Which also means I am not going to jump down there this turn. Um... That is too risky for my taste, as I would be out of strategy points afterwards. And I don't really want to deal with that, so... They're probably all here again, unfortunately. But we do have some okay lines of approach, I think. So we'll have to wait and see how this turns out. But I am going to move along this line. Yes, I am going into the right direction. Okay, there's... Yep, there around their card. I don't know why it's always saying scattered and scared by something if they're all in one area anyways. Uh, but it looks like that's the case. So how much words do we need to get? 12. I really don't know if we can make that work since we will be engaging them pretty fast. But we'll see. So these guys are just going to... We're staying in this in this street here on the side and just trying to move down and towards the wordstone as silently as possible, basically, so that we don't... Maybe we won't get quite as cut off with both groups this time around. Um, we will take... It will take at least two more turns to get up there. So... It probably won't be easy, but we'll, we'll see how this turns out. So the one guy that we already saw... Well, it's not surprising. I went back a little bit, so it's no wonder we didn't actually see him anymore. But let's see if maybe our Witch Hunter can gain a little bit more vision. And I'm not jumping down with him, but let's move him up towards here. Okay, he can't gain any more vision. So let's set up right here, and then we can jump down over there next turn. A little bit of a rotating view here while we wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I actually forgot to equip... Oh! Hello! Who are you? That's their leader. Isn't it? No, it's their witch hunter. Okay. So this could become a problem. Maybe. No, this won't help me. This definitely won't help me. Come on. Oh. Okay, better. Because we they appear to be down here a lot as well, so our four down here could potentially face some problems. 
That means this guy is probably going to cut across here. He, I don't know if he will be able to do anything useful, to be honest. And I'm not sure that we can... How to move him, to be honest. Uh, it's not going to be that easy, unfortunately. I should stay a little bit out of the way. So that I don't actually body block the jump down point for our leader. Yeah, so how do I move you now? Do we just run along this path for now? But he really can't get very far. Oh, this is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, but I think it's okay for now to keep him up here this is a bit weird and I am regretting my choice to keep all of the heroes up there in one group a little bit because they appear to be mostly down here and that's pretty bad for me as we have only our henchmen here and they can't do too much against the overwhelming force that they're going to face there. So I might have to ignore the word stone. A new round has started. And instead focus on getting my units over there. As much as it pains me to leave that word stone untouched. Because there is a lot of good in there. But let's see how far I can get. So I'm right here. Yeah. I think I need to do that. We need to move towards them there. And I can see their leader in the distance already. So maybe we can divert their attention a little bit. Since they know we are up there as well. Uh, it's a bit of a tough call. So he... Can I get a charge? Yes, like this. Oh, yeah. Wait, can I? But I won't be able to dodge afterwards. Ah, uh, we can't change it. Let's just try. Okay, nice. So... We have one guy going before he gets to go so maybe I can get a good engagement here but I really don't know probably not because they have other guys that they can move in but if I can force an all alone here that would be ideal but right now I doubt it okay so far we can So, do another charge, I guess. Oh, that's unfortunate. But, right now, he will run away once his turn begins. But they have one henchman going first, and it's pr he's pretty close. So, he might screw that up. If he doesn't, we have a good chance of actually killing the hero, as we have two two-handed weapons going. And if both of them hit, he might go down, if he runs away. At least we don't fail our drops today. And so I am thinking since he, we are moving along this way with him anyways, I might as well gather some word stone. Updated. We are running basically through that. It's probably going to be all the word stone we are going to get for now. Objectives updated. Uh, but maybe I can come back to it. Oh, yeah. That would be... So how far can I get? Not that far. So you know what? Let's, let's pick up one cluster. Or one more cluster, I should say. Objectives updated. And if that ends up biting me in the in the ass. Oh, wow, two positive ones. Oh, an increased movement range. That is 
a pretty welcome outcome here. So that's going to help us next turn. So let's see, he fails us all alone, perfect. And he is going to run. We won't be able to take him out. But for now, he is gone. So I'm really sad that I didn't hit him there with my other attack, because then he probably would be dead. Uh, we can't really afford to chase him down now, though, as well. As that would be problematic. So there's their leader, and he is wearing a two-handed weapon. So I'm going to set up an ambush right here, as we might be able to catch him in that case, and he won't get the charge on us. And the ambush that he has set up right now. And I think we're going to delay with you. As I want to see what the, the leader does and this henchman who apparently we can see. Okay, he is moving in. So far, this is still fine. And I still really don't know what to do with this guy, as he really can't get there. So he's probably going to be on Wordstone duty, assuming I can get there. It's a bit of a waste. That's the problem with the strike team setup, and one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, that's going to hurt. No, he actually makes the jump. That's nice. But he's also not going to pick up Wordstone, even though he would be a very good candidate for that. But he's also still pretty slow. So I need him over there. Peter. You're too slow, buddy. Uh, delay again. And now comes their leader. Okay, we get the charge. We miss. Uh, miss. And now this is going to hurt. It's two attacks, pro probably. So the... Oh, yeah, that hurt. And he's going for a dodge stance, but if everything goes according to what I have planned... Let's see what this last guy does for him first. We will be able to get rid of that dodge stance already. And then we have the two flagellants here that should be able to deal some serious damage. Yep, we delayed too much, so I can't actually reach him. Which is unfortunate, but we, we can't help it, so let's just ambush here and keep it at that. A new round has started. And Srapface will definitely be able to move down here. Do I want to go hero hunting? He is... Can I see the hero? That's a flagellant. So the hero probably went upstairs. And that means we're going to attack the leader. Okay, nice. Two solid hits. And I still have enough to dodge myself. And we are at 70% by now. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. There's still a lot of unknown quantities here. Or unknown players. I don't know what to call them right now. Basically all the ones we haven't seen yet. Or don't know where they are right now. And I would so love to go for the Wordstone. But we're, we're not hurting in the Wordstone department. It's more in the interest of... Oh, come on. But they would have hit regardless. Uh, missed regardless, if you look at the percentage. We're not hurting for Wordstone, it's just the experience that we're missing out on if we fail the optional objective. But gathering 12 Wordstone would mean getting up there with three other warriors, I guess. And right now, I can't really see that happening. As I would like to focus on killing this guy, and we failed again, but once again we would have missed without the charge as well. Doesn't make me particularly happy, but it's at least a little bit of a saving grace there. So there comes the flagellant. He goes on ours, misses, and the hero should come back as well now, the witch hunter. 
so let's see. Oh, he was in that building. I was one building wrong. Oh, what? We actually got the charge there? That is beautiful. So is he going to switch weapons or disengage? He disengages. Yeah, that's really not a big deal. Reloading, but he shouldn't get... So maybe Klinger can take out his counterpart. Looks like it. And I can actually charge him, but it, we will kill him regardless, so why bother? Well, actually, I do know why I should bother, because we will be able to move afterwards. Which we otherwise won't be. Okay, perfect. That's one down. And... We are full anyways. And yeah, let's move over like so, and end our turn. Won't get us another attack, but it's definitely helpful. Okay, there. Oh, he's actually wearing a bow. What I was just talking about at the uh, beginning of this episode. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you... Or can I make that work? You know what? I'm going to try. So we are going for Wordstone, and I'm keeping the hero up there as well to go for Wordstone. I don't know if that's going to work, but right now we are in a pretty okay position. Can I disengage with them? That would be ideal. Oh, yeah, I need more for that, so I can't. Their leader is going... Um, delay for now, please. Probably won't do too much, but you never know. Oh, what is he wearing on his back? Oh, it's a halberd. And that's actually something I've been thinking, thinking about as well. Getting a halberd on one of mine as soon as we have a halberd, that is. So how much can he pick up by now? Let's see, this is pretty effective already. Okay, he can go for five. Objectives updated. So with the three we already have, we need four more after Objectives that. Objectives updated. I don't know if that one guy will be enough. I'm not quite sure on his strength value. So... He Object will either have three updated. or four spaces. If he has four, we're golden. If not, we're not. Obviously. And let's see. You want two more shards. Objectives updated. And so that was a bit of misplay, but the, the, the turn went a lot better than I assumed it would. Otherwise, we already Objective could have gotten the words done last turn, and we would already be moving towards um, the fight. So I miscalculated there. Uh, but at least we we can still get back a little bit, at least. So maybe next turn he can do more. And he is just going to keep moving. And we're here on this height by now, so... I don't know. Three more turns before he can do something useful? Maybe? <laughs> okay, so I will have to parry here. Let's see. Fails us all alone. That is perfect. So he's not going to do anything except for dodge. So I think this might turn out pretty okay. We have one guy that is close to being taken out. A new round has but started. he's also in a pretty safe spot right now, so he's not that attackable. So his dodge stance is gone. And I'm going to delay here for now because we might be able to disengage with him later. and do something useful. Because right now we would be basically wasting most of his strategy points. As there is no really, not really anything to do. Yep. Take out their leader, please. 
And we have one more flagellant. And yeah, you need to dodge because we won't get out of that engagement over there. So it really won't help us too much. Let's see, just four more words down. Can we make that work? They are moving in. Uh, yeah, delay still. Oh, nice. Okay, he missed. That's pretty good. And that could kill him now. Okay, perfect. That is awesome. That is really, really good. So we are going to move, use your movement to move you up here. As I really don't know if that one guy will be enough. And because of that, I want the safety. He shouldn't do too much damage. And he actually put himself in a horrible spot as the witch hunter before him. Um... So I think I'm just going to provoke this ambush. Ouch. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, there's another guy, but we might have blocked him in now that he won't be able to reach us. Uh, because I want to get the, the advantage here, the, the all-alone check if possible. So let's see. Okay, nice. He did not dodge. That's the important uh, part of this. And so that's a lot of damage. Perfect. Pretty good so far. So now comes the important part. Let's see, Alric. Can you even get there this turn? You can. So let's put him here, where he can pick up the most, and he can pick up three. Objectives updated. So we actually do need the flagellant that is coming up here. I'm still going to pick up as Objective much as possible updated. already, which means we are going to miss out on a sharp, probably. Um, Objective, But it's updated. fine, so we're at 11 right now. And we need to keep that. Positive warp effect. Increased movement range, once again pretty useful. Okay, and this has me a bit nervous now. Because I need to move him he in here. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. Yeah, that's even worse. To get this guy the all alone. But if he succeeds, he might be able to take down either of, a, of ours. So I'm taking probably a pretty big risk. And I really hope that it will pay off. No, he succeeds. But we parry. Holy crap. Oh, thank you so much. I don't even care that I missed now. <laughs> that was so lucky. That bought us a turn. Okay. Let's see. Can we get you in finally? Once again, not. But next turn, if it comes down to that. Hopefully we will have one by the time he's going next. So their morale is still above the threshold. A new round has started. So let's see, that's his dodge gone for now. It's already pretty useful. And dodge, please. Oh. We see something. Oh yeah, there's one guy here. Somewhere. We don't know where he will go. Oh, he's there. So is he coming towards my lone guy? Oh no, he's right up there. So the upside here is he is still... He didn't jump down, so I should be able to still pick up the word stone. So this guy is going next, I think. No, this guy is going next. Can he come out? He can, unfortunately. 
Oh, but he's charging him. That is fine. That we can live with. He could have taken out maybe the, the Zealot there. So this is still okay. And the question now is, can I... I cannot. Why? Why do you have to be like this game, huh? Really? I'm going to miss out on the on the optional objective here because I'm just out of reach. Just barely. That's mean. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh well. It's fine. We still got a good amount of words done out of this. And as long as no one goes down and we actually are able to take down this guy, I will be okay with this. Okay. Let's see. Do they have to check for routing now or no? Not yet, unfortunately. So we're not quite done yet. So where does he go? Reload? Who's he going to shoot? That's a miss. That was a 22% chance to hit. <laughs> and he almost made it, actually. <laughs> Perry, please. So I really don't like that I'm not able to pick up this wordstone. But uh, there's really not anything I can do about that. So we're just going to ambush. Uh... right here and hopefully well if this goes for another turn hopefully the flagellant will be able to pick up some words down there we're blocking it in right now a bit but we should still be good there so this guy is going to run away which is helpful because it might buy us the time that we need to make uh, this work as I want it to work. And this guy's still at full health, so we can just start working on him. I could have gone for the, the shooter as well, actually. But it's uh, I, I've, I've forgotten about him already again. Oh, wow, he's at 55% parry already. That's not bad. So there's our wordstone. So I can finally jump down. And he almost made it there. He won't, but he almost made it. <laughs> so he had a nice sightseeing tour. And there's still one you haven't seen. Has started. Okay, what are you going to do? The one that ran away, do I want to chase him? So where did he go? He did run into this, didn't he? Yep, that's, there it is, there he is, okay. Okay, he's down. And now they are below routing, and I've screwed myself. I should not have done this. I did not think. So as long as they don't actually succeed their route test now, I screwed myself out of the option to get the optional objective so let's see oh but they succeed we've seen that a lot more okay he just went for an ambush up there that's actually perfect and that's going to give us the time that we need to make this work and let's just attack this guy So let's see, the flagellant is going next. Yes. And we failed our parry. Okay, and now he actually is really blocking that. So let's uh, gather that fragment objective and then we'll delay. Completed. So right now um, the objective is complete. And once that guy will move... We can gather the rest up. Oh. Thank you for the miss. 
that he had two weapons was surprising. So two one-handed weapons, I mean, that's just a lot of damage to deal with. And I really would like to not miss here, because if we take this guy down, and he's our best target right now, they will have to check again, and I would like for that to happen now, to be honest. So he just needs to move and get out of the way, so we're just going to move uh, in this direction again. Shouldn't play too big of a role. Okay, and now he can uh, pick up the shard. And we might actually be able to make use of the guy there. And actually... Nope. Okay, we can only go for a fragment and keep movement so that I can move away for the other guy back there to, to get the shard. But that's fine. But that really... We wouldn't have needed to put him up here, but we probably would have forced them to rout if I hadn't moved him up. So I'm, I'm still okay with this. And I'm not going to attack you, but instead we're going to go here just in case for the all alone again. Okay, wow. 100 on an 88. And parry, please. Okay, Steiner. Do your thing. You've seen enough of the sights. It's pretty, pretty bleak, I, I assume. But maybe you enjoyed it. <laughs> And that's something I've been thinking about for a while. It's my, my habit of, of, of doing that weird laugh at the end. And I'm pretty much aware of it. I, I really don't know why I'm doing that. So far, nobody has complained about it. And it's somewhat, somewhat part of, of me, I guess. But it's still... I really don't know how that started and why. And I would really try to figure out why I'm always doing that. So if I could just take this guy down now, I would be very happy. And so I think what I'm trying to say here is, do you even notice it when I when I do that? Or does it annoy you? Do you... I don't know. What what do you think? And hopefully you, you weren't, uh, weren't unaware of that so far, and now that I've pointed it out, you can't ignore it, and it's driving you crazy and crazy and crazy. <laughs> like that. A new that. round has started. So let's see, yeah, let's just charge him. Bye. So he's down, and we don't have any other targets except this one, so... Uh, let's attack him as well. Okay, another miss. Thank you so much. That's so helpful. And will they route now? I would prefer them to do so. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, that mission went very, very good. So we've got two more fragments, which is not that much. We got the optional objective again aside. Relentless and remorseless. Uh, although These I assumed we wouldn't. Of a witch hunter. But oh, I'm not Never one to complain. Of the damned. Offer no respite to the heretic. We got pretty lucky that the all alone there worked pretty well in the beginning, and we did a lot of damage Task against that witch hunter. Completed. The gods are winning. Nice. So Peter uh, leveled up. Fantastic. So these last missions have been oh wow, have been going a lot better. Outstanding. Remarkable. Oh seven for just showing up basically. Eight for taking one out so that's pretty good and we go up to six thanks to the decisive victory and we go up to how much word stone 97 again that's pretty awesome and yeah let's pay the warband and we actually don't have to pay any sort of upkeep and so I think we're just going to send off the wordstone again. 
because why not? But let's go for the correct amount this time, which is 50 in reputation. Confirm. You are becoming famous. Okay, and now they we get less from each one again, but that's still fine with me. And we're just going to focus on sending this off, which is more money again. And that means we m I might take maybe a break for one or two mission uh, days and get some skills in now. But we'll, we'll see about that. So uh, that's where we're going to end it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.